we are back. Or welcome. Depends. <laughs> really depends, doesn't it? Uh, I wasn't here. What were we now, talking about again? Yeah. Now we are talking about. So, Mr. Tiny Sumo tagged me in something the other day, and I looked at it, and I'm, I'm like, "This is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna ruffle some, ruffle some Reddit feathers." feathers. Those uh, motherfuckers. Gotta so, love Reddit. Ah, oh, get the fuck out. So let's get straight in. So essentially, you tagged me in this thing that said the best way to judge your jujitsu is. By how you do against a really strong white belt. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to the homies from Author Supply Co. Uh, rocking, rocking the shirt. I am rocking the Author Supply Co. Ooh, shirt. That's a nice shirt. It's a very Handsome. nice shirt. Yeah, they make Handsome. very nice stuff. Um, unpaid. Unpaid. You know we're telling the truth. You know we're telling the truth. I'm just rocking. I don't shirt. make any money out of this, but it's a it's very a sexy very shirt. Very nice shirt. Um. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. They put up a bunch of really cool articles. I dig the stuff they put out. Uh. And they put up an article about how the best way to, like Matt said, test your jujitsu. Um, was to do it against a very athletic white belt for the reason being that they were going to be applying technique. It wasn't going to be a technique versus technique thing. It was going to be a technique versus athleticism or strength thing. And I believe it. I 100% agree. Uh, I think that it applies to striking as well, but I probably applies to grappling more. So I immediately looked at it when this, yeah, this is going to, this is going to rustle some jimmies. Yeah, I did. Um, and I looked at it and I'm like, I, well, I applied, maybe, I'm just interpreting, I didn't read the article, I just read the title. I, <laughs> I applied... Like any self-respecting yeah, yeah. I applied my lens of reality and went, yeah, I agree with that. But then I immediately thought, I'm like, well, it really depends on what jiu-jitsu means to you. So again, my thing is, is about self-defense. I always say with, um, with my club, is by the time you get a blue belt, you should be able to re... Like, the, the, the blue belt is to signify that you can reasonably defend yourself in most, like, you know... Some, Maoris exist. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, maybe not always, but reasonably you should be able to defend yourself in, in, in most of the situation life life challenges you. Mm. Getting a purple belt signifies that you can beat people that do jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Getting a blue belt signifies that you can beat people that don't do jiu-jitsu. Yep. And that's how I sig- took read that as, is that the true test of your jiu-jitsu, depending on what jiu-jitsu means to you, is how well you do against someone who has a little bit of an idea about what they're doing and they're also super strong and athletic. Yep. Because that's worst case scenario. You've pissed off the captain of the footy team. Yep. That's, look, we've spoken about it before loads of times, but I think it's a, a subject worth revisiting too. And I think the the point you're making about it being about what jiu-jitsu means to you, where realistically though, jiu-jitsu, you know, at its purest is a self-defense art in the same sense mm. that like most martial arts are like i mean there's obviously stuff but it's also a cool sport it, it started that way it's not yeah, well, it, it's like you could argue yeah. it's not that anymore because like it, it's it's a cool sport it's a cool art it's a it's a cool thing to do and and the argument's always like sport jiu-jitsu guys this sport look shit well yeah. they'll still beat the shit out of the captain of the football team bro god and right. ryan versus you know, who's a footy player anyone it yeah god and yeah. ryan versus the athletic football player he might pull half guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He'll pull a hamstring yeah. in front of the fence. Look, here's, we've spoken about it too. We're like saying someone like um, Kenny Cornelius, I think, is a good example because people use him a lot because they talk about his, like, his lapel guards, like his worm guard. Yeah. They're like, couldn't do that shit in the street. You're like, Kenny Cornelius is not going to yeah. do that in the street, you fucking peanut. And he probably could. But he's going he's gonna to fucking arm drag you and take you down. And, and murder you from yeah. fucking side control. Like, mm. he doesn't need to play this weird lapel guard that he plays at the highest level of jiu-jitsu yeah. because he can just ankle pick you yeah. and, and choke you unconscious in the street, you, see, you uh, fucking peanut. You've seen it a few times. What's that? Um, oh, names. Is it Matt Sarah? On top of the drunk guy. Yeah, he's just, yeah. he's like, yeah. no, it's okay. It's yeah. okay, guys. He's fine. He's the, the guy on the bottom is in a life or death situation. Yeah. The guy on top... No, no, it's okay. I've got, like, don't worry about it. You know, like he's the dealing with a child. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like he's dealing with yeah. a child. If you have, if you have kids that are of the age where they can wrestle, that is what it looked like. And like it looked like me play fighting with mm. my seven year old. Like yeah. he's he's doing whatever he, he's holding him down. It doesn't matter. And this yeah. guy is honestly trying to kill Matt Sarah. And Matt Sarah is laughing from yeah. like high full now. So the argument being that like the best way to pressure test your jujitsu, I think the best way to pressure test your jujitsu as a lower belt. Right, because if you're a black belt, there shouldn't be any need to pressure test your <laughs> yeah. Well, I, was gonna, I would also say that 
this the best way to get injured is to roll with a super athletic black belt. Well, That's more yeah. likely. But yeah. like, you know, a, a black belt is not going to, a brown belt is not going to have issues. But we know, I know purple belts that I, that I've been doing jujitsu much longer than athletic people. But you can be very athletic and get away with some shit. You can get away with some shit. It's your first day. You don't know anything about grips. Mm. You don't know anything about, but you're just, we, you've, how many times have we heard about spazzy white belts? Yeah. You're fucking spazzing out. And all of a sudden now I'm, as a jujitsu guy, used to, I played this guard and you played, and so we played that together and it's okay. Same as, uh, you know, a good example is um, Muay Thai feet. Yep. You, know, you, you get into the rhythm. Yes, you yeah, the rhythm. yeah. Same thing with jujitsu, same there everything. Is that you, can get, you get into a rhythm because that's what we're doing. Yep. And I, ex- I, I expect a certain level of knowledge and understanding from my opponent. So I'm doing this by giving them respect. It's a lot harder too, so if we turn on its head and talk about striking, so you're just talking about Muay Thai, I know some of the worst sparring I ever had was like dealing with people that just like were horrible boxers. Yes. Because in your head you go, I know what boxing is, and the people I box know what boxing is, so we box each other. Yeah. And I might fight you, you know, I might mm. I might try and be the brawler of the two. Oh, I've, I've ruled out a whole heap of possibilities. Yeah. Because they're not good decisions. Yeah. My opponent doesn't know that. Yeah. Those possibilities exist again. Yeah. There you go. So like all of a sudden stuff that I wouldn't normally have to deal with, and this comes back to the jujitsu thing, stuff that I wouldn't normally have to deal with or worry about, I'm all of a sudden have to deal with or worry about. I'm like, what the fuck punch is that? Yeah. What I, the fuck are you I haven't to had to deal with that for so long. Yeah. I've actually forgotten. And like the muscle memory comes back and you're yeah. like, oh shit. Then I know it's working. Now if I can deal with you trying to punch me as a spazzy fuckhead, that is what translates to me for the street. Now, look, I know as well that some of... Because people are going to get on me. Yeah, you fucking hate grappling. No, you fucking peanuts. Here we go. Stop I picking come up from, white belts. I come from a striking background, and I learned grappling later, and I am very aware of the limitations of a pure striker. But what I'm saying is the theory is the same thing. I know that if I can do certain things against a much better boxer, or a much better kickboxer, I can do it against fucking Joe Bloggs down the fucking pub. Now... Like you mentioned earlier, all of a sudden I'm trying to fight a Samoan. I'm not going to fucking shoulder roll a Samoan. I'm not going to try and fuck it. I'm not peppering a Samoan with jabs. <laughs> I'm trying to find the closest glass ashtray. <laughs> to fuck it. I'm going to climb on a bar stool. And presenting it as a gift and an offering try, to please not hurt I'm me. Gonna, I'm going to try and scone him yeah. and move away quickly. Yeah. No, look, that's, and it's the same thing. Look, you and I have spoken about this. Where it's like, all of a sudden, maybe my jujitsu is about survival. It's not about winning a fight. It's about surviving an altercation with a, a man of Pacific descent who weighs 150 kilos. That's not a situation I think about winning. That's a situation... And the, and the best self-defense of that, in my opinion... Is a gun. No, I don't know. I'm just going to say, just don't be a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I put it up, don't be a, don't be a dick. Like, the, yeah. the most important lesson nice of self-defense... Defense. I will. So there's two. Confidence. Confidence goes a long fucking way in everything. And everything Confidence goes a long way in everything. It's and the second game. one is just like an awareness of how horribly things could go wrong yeah. very, very quickly. And you just try and... The combination of confidence and trying to enter into each situation being nice gets rid of nearly every situation. Yeah. Every once in a while, my head comes off. That's different. And again, that's, that's, the, that's me. Like, if I'm in a self-defense situation, as a 30... A man in my thirties. I'm not going out drinking on uh, on a Saturday night at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, much anyway. <laughs> you don't really get into yeah. many of those situations. Yeah. The only times that I'm going to have to be in a self defense situation, this is just some something completely random. Yeah, some yeah. something where it's just like this is this was unavoidable. Yeah. Um, whereas you know, as a younger man, there was potential situations that were avoidable. Yeah, and uh, and I didn't avoid them. I think so. I think in summary. I don't know. Maybe this is just for me, but I think a good way to test if your jujitsu is technical is to comp- is is to uh, test it against a more technical opponent. A good way to test if your jujitsu is viable against the average person is to go against a, a, an athletic white belt. Like mm. if I'm, am I able to? You know, am I able to either get the takedown? If I don't get the takedown, can I control my opponent? Can I control my opponent to the point where I can sweep or submit? While you're trying to do everything in your power with zero technique to clear that. 
as opposed to me and you playing a technical game. And I, it's, I like my position, you like your position, and we're playing that. It's yeah. horses for courses. It comes straight back to what does it mean to you? And, it mean, and because it's subjective and it means something to different people, it's a fantastic article for people to argue. Yeah. Um, like, Leave what, your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> what do you think? Attention Reddit users. Because yeah, like, you're to, a fucking Reddit. Because a strong fucking Reddit. If you're, if you're on Reddit, messaging me from your fucking computer in your mum's house, you can fuck off. Oh, this is what it means to me. Are you a blue belt? Because you can go fuck your mother. I don't care about... No, no, I'm kidding. I say things about Reddit users because I know it upsets them. It gets clicks. It, you're, gets you're, up, it upsets you're, you're them. Yeah, yeah, it upsets them. Um, but that's the same thing. It's subjective to them and that's why it's a good Well, because I would, I would argue if Jiu-Jitsu to you is winning ADCC, mm. which is nothing wrong with that. No. Going against a strong white belt is a terrible fucking way to judge how well you will do yes. in ADCC. There you go. That uh, ain't going to help much. No. That's almost a waste of time. And if you're starting from your knees or your butt, that's probably not a good start either with ADCC rules. That's just a hot tip. Uh, well, that's a, li- that's a life lesson. That's a life if lesson. If you're starting on your knees or on your butt, you're, you're starting from a disadvantage. Not a good way yeah. to test your jiu-jitsu for them <laughs> screets either, bro. <laughs> but I think that's a... Uh, is that a wrap for this good, one? Nice way to fuck up a leg, bro. That's a nice way to fuck it. Yeah. No, it yeah. is. It isn't a very... very like, leg locks aren't very effective. That makes life very difficult. It does. Yeah. Um, it's like magic, bro. I think that's a, a wrap on this that's one. A wrap. It's a wrap. It's subjective. Leave your comments. Leave your thoughts. Leave your opinions. What do you think? What does jiu-jitsu mean to you? Let us know. Is a good way to pressure test your jiu-jitsu against a strong white belt? Or should I just be playing technical boys with the upper belts? You tell me. I would suggest do both. Yeah, you're going with it, do you? Smash. Uh, I think that's right. You should roll for... Again, without getting it, you should roll people better than you. You should roll people the same as you. And you should people worse than you. That's a good rap. There are ways to do different stuff. And That's if that doesn't a... make sense to you, well then, good oh, luck on your journey. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, 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 good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good luck and uh, we show the belts. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, hello there. You've just caught me drinking a nice, refreshing jammu tonic. Completely unstaged. Not, not set up at all. Uh, you've made it to the end of our video. So if you'd like to check out our beautiful product, Check out www.dirtycleaneats.com and use DCE Podcast for 20% off. If not, but you did enjoy the, the talking nonsense or you hated the nonsense, please check out, give us a subscribe below if this is YouTube. If it's not YouTube, I don't, I don't know. Follow, hit the follow button. Thank you. Bye.